Hey everyone, it's Justin here at Johnson RV. We are America's number one premium pre-owned RV superstore. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of exactly what we do, which is source these units from all around the country, looking for the most gently used, lowest miles, and then we recondition them to as close to new as we can and pass that value on to you, the customer. Today we're taking a look at a gorgeous unit. This is a 2014 Nexus Ghost. This is gonna be your 34G model. This is a Super C diesel. Um, starting with up front, you notice this thing looks like a truck. Well, that's because it is. It's like a semi-truck. Diesel engine, you're sitting on the Max Force uh, diesel here, so plenty of power. They build these things for towing, you guys. So first off, you're gonna notice that this is a Class C. You notice the one-piece fiberglass uh, front cap. Uh, we're gonna get inside. You'll notice that that's gonna be your sleeping area. Cruise on back this way. Nice, big, beefy uh, side view mirrors here. Uh, you're gonna be able to see your blind spot with these, uh, regular mirror here. You do have a diesel fill station here uh, to be able to fill your fuel. Nice, big steps uh, to be able to get in and out of the passenger side here. Next thing you're gonna notice is we've got our first slide. Uh, on the very top, you've got what's called a slide topper. That is gonna protect your mechanism from moisture, debris, anything that could gum up that slide. Um, underneath here, Got a nice big storage. Something I'm gonna point out about this storage is it's metal. Um, what that's gonna do is uh, prevent that, that whole entire compartment from getting wrecked by you know, road rocks coming up, uh, kicking up. You know that that's gonna be safe and sound. That's gonna be another compartment they actually combine. And then right here, you've got your battery compartment. Now that's gonna come out on a slide tray. You pull this guy up, this slides out. Super easy access to check your batteries there. This guy here, this is your front entryway. You've got automatic electric steps here. Those are going to come in and out for you um, when you're jumping in and out of the coach. You do come with a non-skid, so you're not going to slip either. Up above, you've got your full-size automatic awning here uh, for this, this portion. Um, keep you out of the rain, uh, moisture, or sunshine too for that matter. And another compartment there, also metal. Got your exhaust for your furnace and then access to the back of your refrigerator there. Swing on back here, got your propane fill. Uh, super easy access point, you're gonna be able to pull up anywhere that fills propane. You're gonna run the hose out to you, get you ready for your camping trip. We are gonna send you with a full tank when you leave here. Up above that, you've got a 110 duplex there. Plug in anything electrical that you might need outside. Open this up. In this compartment, we have outdoor entertainment. We are still underneath the awning here as well. Uh, you've got your flat screen Furion television. You've got your uh, Jensen uh, stereo situation with your speakers as well. So super nice feature here on this coach. Something else I'll mention, this is full body paint. So your uh, no decals uh, to worry about peeling or falling off, that sort of thing. Back here, you got another nice big storage. This actually passes all the way through. If you've got things like skis or uh, uh, fishing poles, longer items, um, those are gonna be able to fit very easily in that storage compartment. Swing around here to the back. Working top to bottom. First thing we'll notice, we have an integrated backup camera here. We do have full length, top to bottom, access ladder to be able to check the seals on top. And as I mentioned before, these things are built to tow. So you've got a super beefy tow hitch here, um, already set up for a seven pin situation. Um, so that's what these things are meant to do, towing the heavier things. Swing on this way. This is gonna be access to your 50 amp service. This giant cord here, that's gonna give you the power you need to plug into your shore power. This is the other side of that storage. Up above, you've got your fresh and city water connection there. It is lockable. Here you've got an exterior shower, so outdoor shower, spray off the pet's paws, get the, the beach sand off your toes before entering the coach itself. Beneath that, we do have all of our waterworks. Um, you notice your, your uh, connection tube here. Up above is where you're actually gonna pull to open your gray and your black. And then something else that I really wanna mention about this unit is you have external sensors on your tank. So uh, no, no sensors to get gunked up on the interior with any debris. You're gonna be able to just monitor your tank levels with ease. 
We'll swing up this way. Another access, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, a storage compartment there. This is going to be your Cummins own and generator. Let me take you on the inside and show you what's what. All right, thanks you guys for joining me on the inside of this 2014 Nexus Ghost. This is the 34G model, class Super C diesel. Now, again, this is sitting on the Max Force engine. Tons of power, tons of torque, and it is diesel. A um, couple things up here that I just wanted to point out. Um, everything up here is essentially built for comfort. Longer trips, uh, everything's super plush. Your seats are double, triple cushioned. Um, here, um, everything is within fingers touch. Um, this monitor here, this is going to be for your backup camera. Um, so you're going to be able to check that out when you're backing into spots. Um, nice views here as far as looking out at the, uh, at the views. Um, and then you also have your one touch auto leveling jacks located right here. So touch of a button, this unit is going to self level. So let's check out the rest of this thing. Starting with above here. Um, as I mentioned, this is a Class C, and this is a sleeping area up above. Now, say you don't have anyone sleeping here, you want easy access in and out. I'm a taller guy, I prefer it this way. I just go ahead and kick that guy back, and you got easy access in and out. On my right hand side here, your left, got this nice leather couch. This does actually fold out into a sleeping area. Um, so that's two sleeping areas so far. Um, up above, you've got some nice storage. Very high end, and this whole uh, thing is in a slide as well. So, on my opposite side, you have your dinette. Um, this also breaks down into a sleeping area. Um, this table basically drops down, and the cushions convert, um, and it becomes one big bed. Again, you're going to have storage up above. So, we're standing in opposing slides, which is why you get the feeling that this thing is absolutely humongous. All right, so now we're standing in the kitchen area. Uh, we'll start up top. We do have a frigid air. Um, this is going to be a convection microwave, so you will be able to do your uh, baking in there. Down below, flush mount uh, cover here, solid surface countertops. Um, this is going to be access to your three burner stove. That's going to run off your propane system there. You got a nice backsplash as well as a mirror. It actually gives you that feeling that this is absolutely ginormous in this kitchen area. You have nice large storage down below. Um, that's going to be for your pots, pans, what have yous. Swinging back to the kitchen area here. Um, tons and tons of storage up above, plates, food, pantry items, anything of that nature. They do give you a built-in uh, paper towel holder. And then this is going to be your sink area. Flush mount as well, just the same as the stove. You've got a two basin sink, all with this elegant, extremely heavy uh, countertop. Um, behind me here, we've got a four door Norcold fridge and freezer combo. Um, this guy is actually going to also come with the uh, water feature as well, so you're going to be able to fill up, fill up your water right off of this thing. A um, little bit more storage up above, um, so let's swing on back to the back area. Before we get there, um, you've got your control center here, basically checking all your tank levels, uh, setting your thermostat, um, you've got an energy command module here for your generator, um, so just everything's going to be located in one uh, spot, so that makes it really nice. Uh, off to this side, we've got our shower area. I'm just going to go ahead and jump up in here. I'm six feet tall, notice the headroom here, plenty of room, totally tall, uh, lots of elbow space, um, very spacious shower. On the opposite side here, we've got our commode. One of the nice things about what they've done here um, is they've given you the raised toilet. Um, I don't know about most folks, but for me personally, um, this makes it easy on the knees. You got plenty of counter space in here, and then you got these nice medicine cabinets for all of your additional storage. Nice solid doors here as well. Now, into the bedroom area. This does close all the way to be able to give you privacy back here. King size bed. You do have storage up above the bed area. But more importantly, you do have his and hers uh, wardrobe storage. You've got one here. In the center, you've got a TV with some additional storage. As I mentioned, hers. Um, and then below, all of your additional drawers. So tons of storage in this guy. Again, it's a 34G model. Um, 
tons of power, you guys. I mean, you're not going to believe the ride in this thing, but I know you're going to have more questions. So call me, Justin, here at Johnson RV. Our number is area code 253-286-0833. Talk to you soon.